Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Hearthstone. More importantly, welcome to a brand new series called Just For Fun Hearthstone, where I take terrible deck ideas and turn them into actual decks. So, most of you have heard of Death Rattle Hunter, right? The deck where you put in like Devil Saw 8 and whatnot. But what if we put that idea into Warlock? Sounds like a fun idea to me. So today, let's play Egglock. As always, if you're uninterested in the deck list and want to jump straight ahead to the matches, you may refer to the top right hand corner of the screen. This will tell you the time to skip ahead to. Alright, so this is the deck that we've uh, built for today. So as you ca uh, can't tell already, uh, this is an egg lock deck. So obviously it's going to be a terrible deck, it's not meant for climbing the ladder. In fact, all the decks in this series are not meant for climbing the ladder. Anyway, the idea behind this deck is that you put in a bunch of eggs, such as your Nerubian egg and your Devil Sword egg. Uh, both of them have very powerful death rattles. Uh, the problem is that they can't be activated uh, very readily. So and yeah, so, and also you put in stuff like your mechanical web. Uh, mechanical web is slightly better in uh, the sense that it's slightly easier to activate because it, it, it innately has attack of uh, two attack. So you can hit it to other stuff and summon your seven seven. Um, however, the Rubin egg and your Devil Sword egg don't have this uh, benefit of having attack. So you're gonna have to uh, trigger them by yourself because your opponent's not gonna trigger. Uh, uh, your eggs off, um, yeah. So how would you do that? Uh, you would put in something like Doomsayer, or any AOE clear like your Hellfire. In fact, Hellfire and Doomsayer clears uh, all these three minions very nicely. Your Mechanical Whelp, your uh, Merubian Egg, as well as your Devil's Egg. Uh, because Hellfire deals three, and uh, the maximum health is a uh, three. Uh, in the case of Devil's Egg, and Doomsayer obviously clears the entire board, so it uh, clears everything. Uh, next way you're gonna uh, be able to clear all these minions is like yours. This card, I don't know how to read this, but anyway, destroys a minion. And as well as your Carnivorous Cube, uh, which destroys min destroys a minion and activates his death rattle immediately. And in addition, you will have your Void Terror. So Void Terror is like uh, it's like the reason I built this deck in the first place, right? Uh, because you can add the stats of those eggs. Uh, for example, if you destroy a Nerubian Egg with a Void Terror, you're gonna have plus 2 health on your Void Terror. Another way to activate it is using Power Overwhelming. So the dream is basically you play an egg. Use power overwhelming and then you destroy it with a uh, void terror. In fact, it was a very very old combo, uh, if I'm not wrong. And of course, you have your base, uh, very good cards such as a uh, cobalt librarian. And yep, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and you have defender Argus to uh, add attack on your minions as well. And also you have soul infusion to do the same uh, for the same purpose. You also have a uh, fungal mentor for the same purpose. And finally, we have a few interesting includes such as our uh, Spirit Single Umbra. So let's say you play a Carnivorous Cube. You're going to destroy a minion and the uh, Death Rattle is going to trigger for the Carnivorous Cube. In which case, you summon two eggs immediately. And then the two eggs Death Rattles will be triggered. So uh, you're going to have to s you're gonna summon those two eggs Death Rattles immediately. So the dream is uh, Spirit Single Umbra as well as Carnivorous Cube into one of the eggs. Uh, that will be a very, very nice combo. Uh, finally, you also have your um, Hammered. So the thing with Hammer is that uh, most of these cards are rubbish, right? It's not gonna last into, li into the late game. So what, what you're gonna want to do with Hammer is basically to destroy anything that's uh, 3 or less. So you have a better late game. And the the main thing why you want to destroy a deck is because of the Zoth. Because the Zoth uh, is a very powerful, um, you know, battle cry. And it get, gets all your eggs back. So yeah. Hopefully uh, this deck turns out better than it seems. And uh, let's just test this deck out. So yeah, uh, let's just jump right into the first match of the day. Obviously, we're gonna be playing casual, not ranked. We're gonna be playing um, egg lock over here, not the hunter deck that we we're playing just now. So yeah, like I said before, this deck is terrible. Don't, um, if you wanna have fun, then go ahead and play it. In fact, I encourage people to uh, have fun in WoW because uh, you know WoW is it's a it's a it's a game mode in which you're supposed to have fun, right? Uh, especially in WoW casual. Uh, if you're playing in Hearthstone, please don't bring a competitive that into a uh, casual wow if you want to uh, be competitive in wow just play wow ranked there's no reason for you not to uh, yeah I mean um, for me I feel that wow casual should be a very fun place for you to experiment all right against a hunter in this case hopefully it's not too aggressive hunters tend to be very aggressive oh we get a uh, hammer right off the bat which uh, in which case we don't want to keep I think so we're gonna destroy uh not destroy uh throw away these three cards Turns out the Hunter has a pretty good starting hand since it only mulligan one cut away. Oh, it's a bit sad that we have Nazov in our starting hand. And uh, Soul Infusion. It's gonna be a very powerful Nazov. In fact, we, we should have played Soul Infusion. 
Cause a uh, Nazoth will be the... Yeah. Will end up being the Lefos minion all the time. Alright, so never mind. We'll just have... I don't think we're gonna last very long against this hunter. Alright, steady shot. Yeah, we're gonna go down really, really quickly. It's fine. It's, it's not meant to be a very good deck. <laughs> I'll be surprised if, like, out of five matches, we get even one win. Alright, we buffed on the Zoff. It's a very slow play. Not sure whether we should play a Spirit Singer Umbra by itself. I don't think we should, because uh, it kind of ruins our combo. Oh, wow. We're dead. <laughs> Hopefully we draw Hellfire soon. We're really down to 18 health. Gonna tap again. Yeah, but this is not gonna work out very well. This deck is too competitive. It's okay, we just have to find a match in which, uh, in which we win, right? And that'll be a really nice match. Alright, we're definitely not winning this, I think. Even if we Hellfire, we'll lose. Yeah, we have no heals. Alright, yeah. Or maybe we should put in something like a heal. Hmm, not very sure about that. Maybe I should just experiment this for a while. I don't know, it's my first time building a some some uh, a deck like this. So, uh, pardon me if the deck's quality is not very good. In fact, the deck quality is not meant to be good. Uh, okay, uh, let me rephrase. Pardon me if the deck's quality is not optimal. Yeah. Maybe I should put in more heals. I thought we had two self that uh two self damaging tools, which is Hellfire as well as a Cobalt Librarian. Yeah, maybe I'll do something like that. Or maybe have like a Zoo Is this the same guy? Oh yeah, it's the same guy. Wow, we lost again. We're just giving this guy free wins. It's okay. Our Mulligan Hand is uh, much better than before, and we actually have Doomsayer. Doomsayer is a nice cut against aggressive decks. Okay, we we can try out against this Hunter once again. Alright, our turn. So we're gonna play this. Alright, Mechanical Whelp. Uh, maybe putting in Mechanical Whelp was a bit too slow. Hmm, we'll have to see. Alright, steady shot. So the Hunter's not off to a very great start. It's fine. It's good for us. Uh, over here I think we'll tap. Oh, Nerubian Egg. That's nice. Oh, wow, we should attack. Never mind. It's okay, it's okay. We, it's fine if we don't attack. Alright, bear shot. So over here, I think we really want to um, maybe do this. Relax. It's a party. All right. I mean, okay, we we really have quite a bit of stats on the board, which is good, right? <laughs> and hunters don't gen generally don't have a very good box here, right? I think. I don't think they do. At least mid-range hunter doesn't have a lot of very good bot clears. Alright, what's the hunter gonna play? Alright, turns out it's a cackling razor more. It's a golden cackling razor more. Okay. Got, gonna gain plus one, plus one over here. Okay, gonna destroy that. That's fine. And a steady shot. Okay. So our turn... In our turn, we will play... Um, let's see. Hmm, maybe Defender? Trade this in. Maybe we can play Cobalt. Yeah, I think we can do that. We can play this, and then we'll see whether we can uh, draw something nice. Oh, Hammer. That's an okay card. After that, we will uh, turn our stuff up. And then, free hit the face. Uh, yeah, I think we can trade. Yeah, we'll trade. I think trading is good. Next turn, probably Mechanical Whelp or something. Oh wait, no, we can't play Mechanical Whelp. Next turn, probably Fungal Mentor. But yeah, like I said, it's a terrible deck. <laughs> if you get the right cards, it's actually okay, but most of the time we don't. So, yeah. Even if you get the right cards, you might not win. That's the thing. Alright, Scavenging Hyena. I'm gonna trade that in and that thing's gonna become a 4-3. Alright. Alright, okay, we don't want this to have a <laughs> plus 2 plus 2. Okay, so over here we'll just play Fungal Mentor. Uh, we'll trade this in and then we'll hit this into the face. 
Maybe we'll end up destroying our deck, maybe. I'm not sure. Alright, unleash. And invest. That's a very good combo, but not quite enough to clear our 5 4. It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to hit his face once again. But he's gonna draw a bit of a cut. Uh, a bit of a um, nice hand. Yeah, uh, there. Oh, do we have Lethal? Let's see. 5 7. Nope, not, not Lethal. Uh, it's fine. We'll play the Whelp first. We'll hit this, we'll hit this. And we'll hit this. Next turn, probably power overwhelming Brand into Void Terror, something like that. Uh, that's if he doesn't die, of course. Alright, Firefly. Oh, are we, are we gonna, actually gonna win? We might. Plated Beetle, okay. The armor's not gonna trigger immediately, so yeah. Good for us. Well, Alright, we won. Wow. We won the mid range hunter. Huh, that's, uh, that's kind of surprising. I mean, the first game he completely dominated us, but you know, still worked out well for us. Alright, on to the next match of the day. So, kind of surprising, 50% win rate. I didn't even expect a win, but it's okay. Uh, the thing about playing bad decks is that uh, if you actually win with those bad decks, you actually feel a sense of, uh, sense of accomplishment. I don't know, uh, I think I do. At least I do, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. It's kind of fun, eh? yeah. I think it's kind of fun. Alright, so uh, looks like we. We're able to search for another match. Usually when it lags, it means that we we found a match, right? Yeah. Okay. So over here against a shaman. Hopefully not an even shaman. Uh, we're gonna keep Doomsayer because uh yeah, we actually need a uh, board clear in case something happens. Oh, hammer again. Maybe putting in hammer was a mistake. Usually we don't destroy a deck, right? Usually. I'm not very sure. Maybe the there'll be a very late game uh, scenario in which we run hammer. I'm not sure. All right. So it looks like our turn. We'll play the uh, librarian first. All right. The reaver. That's very good. The uh, reason for the reaver being very good because it summons a lot of stats next turn. All right, Millstrom. That's fine. Whatever. Can have a two one. Alright, we'll play the Nerubian Egg. Um, question is, do we want to play the... I think we can, yeah. We just want to dominate the board it's now. Which expansion is this from? Or Lich King expansion, okay. Frozen Throne expansion, right. Okay. I didn't even know this card really existed until I built this deck. I was looking for ways to destroy your own minions and then I found this uh, very nice minion over here. I didn't even know it existed <laughs> before this. Alright, gonna be trading for his side. It's okay. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention about this deck is that it's gonna be very hard to block clear us. Because uh, usually you don't want to block clear into this, right? Because if you block clear into this, I'm gonna summon the 5-5. Five five. So that's another upside of this deck, I guess. Alright, Jade Lightning. So it looks like a Jade deck. So you want to finish this guy off fast. Like, really fast. Don't want him to build a uh, Jade army. Okay, so over here, gonna be... Drawing cut first. Alright, so infusion into brand. That doesn't look like a good idea, but it's okay. Maybe in this game we really want to play uh not a brand, uh sorry, Hammond. Uh maybe in this game we really want to play Hammond. Uh simply because we want to get better cut quality. I don't know. Alright, flame tongue. So flame tongue was gonna clear obviously a 4 2. Not surprising. Alright, totem golem, okay. And gives it pawn, that's fine. Oh, Nazov. Okay, we're gonna tap first. Argus, okay. So over here, we're gonna buff on our X up. Gonna kill this off, and um... Do we kill this thing off? Now nah, we can clear it next turn. We'll hit the face. So we summon a 5-5, five five, that's good. Alright, frame with places. Okay, sure. Do we play a Doomsayer into this? Um, not sure, but anyway, we can taunt this up. So the thing about taunting a 1-4 up is that he's gonna have to kill it. Uh, we'll tap as well. Okay, we won. Oh, wow. Pretty legit. Hey, we won a Jade Aggro Shaman. I think it's an Aggro Shaman, right? Not sure, sure. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, it's a Shaman that runs the Jade Package. Aggro Shaman that runs the Jade Package. Hmm, not bad. Two wins. 
Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I really didn't expect that. But I mean, I'll turn to, um, what do you call that, Nerevan Egg into the Reaver, sang Sanguine Reaver thingy. That's a pretty powerful combo. That's a pretty potent combo. Because it just summons you, like, 7-7 seven, seven worth of stats on turn 2. Which is very powerful, yeah. I mean, the Zulog, the Heal Zulog that can do much better than that. It can, uh, get you, like, uh, the... Nemzi what's that card called? The tree tree, the zero mana tree tree. All right, so over here it looks like a much more terrible deck. I'm gonna have to throw away these two guys, unfortunately. Against the hunter, we want to keep a better starting hand. Oh, Hellfire is nice. Uh, Hellfire can help clear the board. And don't mind uh, a buff on Spirit Singer either. Oh, nice. Okay, so over here we're gonna be playing this. So our Spirit Singer gets buffed. So it's a four mana five six. It'll, uh, the reason why I buffed it is so that it will live for longer And if it lives for longer, we can uh, get more value out of it, hopefully So over here, gonna... Hmm, should we tap? No, I think we can play... Hmm, let me think about this Yeah, I think we can play in the Ribbon Egg Just in case we want to uh, avoid Terror next turn or something I was gonna hold the Ribbon Egg just in case uh, we wanted to play Spring Singer Umbra into it That looks like a Secret Hunter, that's, that's terrible for us Okay, never mind. we're gonna tap Fungomancer, okay. Alright, yeah, it's a secret hunter. It's definitely a secret hunter. Okay, so another Hellfire, that's okay. In fact, Hellfire is kind of good for us because uh, it destroys his uh, wolves. Alright, gonna get us a 4 4. And uh, Snipe, okay, whatever. You can have the 3 3, I guess. Alright, Deadly Shot. That's kind of bad, because he removes a 4-4. Four, four. Coins, okay. And plays a Secret Bomb, okay. I'm uh, gonna have to tap here. We'll play um, Doomsayer to prevent him from playing anything. So what Death Rattles have died? Only the Nerubin Egg, right? I was thinking maybe uh, Spirit Singer into Nozov. Wait, does that actually work? Hmm, not very sure. I guess if you summon a few Death Rattle minions, it's fine. Alright, so we're gonna clear the board, but there's nothing here, that's fine. Ooh, do we take the risk? I think we can. Yeah, sure, why not. We just want better quality cards, but then we are down to 7 cards. So what we've destroyed? Uh, but anyway, the mo more important cards that we want is the, uh, is the, what do you call it, the, the mechanical whelp. So we're gonna try hitting his face first. Alright, explosive trap, that's fine. Okay, so over here we're gonna do the uh, Hellfire. And he actually leaves us at a very nice uh, 6 1. So 6 1, wait, uh, do we want to clear this up? Um, yeah, I think we can. So the nice thing about Void Terror is that uh, it can reuse stats. Because you a 6 1 is very, very vulnerable, but a 9 4 is much less vulnerable than a 6 1. Because it has 4 health instead of 1 health. Alright, another secret. Hopefully it's not freezing trap. Flat, okay, sure. Nice tech option. Okay, so secret plan, okay, you can have a secret. Okay, so hopefully none of them are freezing traps. Alright, mechanical whelp. Uh, hmm, do we play Umbra into... I think we can. I think we can play Umbra this time. My shield! Uh, we'll try hitting this in, but hope. I think it's a freezing trap. Yep. It's definitely a freezing trap. There's no way it's not a freezing trap. It's fine, it's fine. Next turn, uh, mechanical whelp. Yep. Gonna be a very nice cut there. Alright, flanking strike. That's okay. Alright, another secret. Steady shot. Okay. Ooh, cute. So, gonna play this first. Alright, snipe whatever. Okay, that's actually good for us. Thanks. Alright, sure. Oh, it's another... Oh, it's a snake trap whatever. I thought it was a freezing trap. Okay, you can have it. Alright, so we'll just end our turn. I don't think there's any point in tapping. Oh, if, if we actually win against a secret hunter, it'll be pretty good. Oh, wow, call of the wall. That's gonna be painful. Trade, trade. 
and then that's five damage to our face. What's it gonna hit? Hit that? Okay. Oh, he's actually trading. Good for us. Okay. So over here we have a few options. We can resolve, I think. Green resolve. Resolve or do summon? Nah, I think we can play the whelp. Whelp into um. Or is it just Welp? Hmm, on the Zoff. The Zoff's pretty good, right? Yeah, on the Zoff, whatever. The Zoff. Yep, okay, the Zoff. And then next turn, probably Fungal Mentor. Yeah, something like that. Alright, Secret, okay. Flare, okay, sure, we can have another Flare. Okay, another Secret. He's actually running on Steam quite fast. Alright, trades into that, that's fine. Alright, hits our face. That's fine as well. Okay, we're gonna fungal mentor this up. And then we're gonna try hitting this in. Alright, it works. Okay. So it's gonna be a bear trap. Uh, we're gonna hit him with this. And then we're gonna Q um, this guy. Alright, and then Nocturne. Hopefully this doesn't end some weird way like our oh, crushing walls. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's a uh, pretty good stats. <laughs> All right, we defeated a tier one deck. It looks like. That's good. Hey, we got three wins, right? How many losses do you have? One loss. Oh wow, that's actually a pretty good win streak. All right, on to the next match. But yeah, I mean, if you're in um. If you're in casual world, well, just play a fun deck. Don't, don't do something crazy, right? Yeah, don't go crazy and play s Secret Hunter or whatever. Just play a fun deck. I think it's a place to have fun in a uh, WoW casual. And yeah, I, I guess the guy really really hated Secret Hunters or Secret Mages or whatever. The previous guy. Which is why he put in two flares. Uh, turns out flares are pretty useless against uh, Death Rattle, um Warlock. Is this the same guy? Oh yeah, it is. Let's have some fun. Okay. Oh, we actually get a decent starting hand with the tree drop. Actually, originally I wanted to base this deck off of a um either a zoo lock or a control warlock base, meaning that it has a control warlock or a zoo lock vibe. It's just that you add in eggs inside. But I realized that you know what? Let's just make a completely new archetype or whatever. Okay, so we get the off. That's good. Uh, in case, uh, this means that our late game is kind of secured, I think. Oh, candle shot, that's kind of bad for us. Uh, next turn probably tap. I don't think we're in a hurry to play out the Devil Sword Egg. So we just tap. Oh, Void Tyra is a nice card to have. Uh, we can do something like cube the, um, uh, Devil Sword Egg. Oh, it's secret. Is this a snipe? If it's a snipe, I would, I would love that snipe. Okay, so, uh, snipe. Ah, not snipe. Okay, never mind. Hopefully this guy learned his lesson about not playing snipe into this deck. <laughs> Is that a snipe? Okay, next turn what are we gonna play? Uh, cube? Maybe cube? Yeah, I think we can play the cube. Is it a good option? Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. We get 5-5 five five and stuff. Alright, cat trick. That's fine. Oh, but it's a slightly bad for us because it's slightly aggressive. Alright, snipe. Okay, here comes the snipe. But we don't mind our cube having a lower health. We actually don't mind that. Uh, it summons our eggs faster. Oh, our wolves. Okay, so next turn, probably Doomsayer. Oh, it's starting to trade. Okay, so we'll play Doomsayer. And then, oh, I just realized you can Void Terror into Doomsayer. That's actually a very nice 7 health benefit. So hit his face, and oh, it's a Freezing Trap, that's bad. Oh, we should, we should look uh, into that. It's okay. We'll play this. Devil Saw it. Unfortunately, we can't play that. Okay, and not turn. Oh, it looks like we're not gonna live through this one. Hit, hit, hit. He's gonna be left with... Uh, 6 damage to our face. 
Maybe we should have left the cube there. Yeah, we should have left the cube there. Alright, so um, hopefully Hellfire comes soon. Because that would be a very nice card to have for our side. Mm, Bren. What can we do with Bren? Nothing much. Uh, we can play Mechanical Welt first. And then hopefully next turn we can just play Devil Sword uh, into Defender. So that it blocks some damage. But it's okay, I mean I'm really happy with a 60% win rate. It's a, it, it's a good deck. No, no, it's a terrible deck, but it's a good run. Oh, it's actually gonna help us summon this. Interesting. Ouch. So we'll die in uh, 3 turns, looks like. So uh, we'll just play... Um, Torn this up. Wait, let me think about it. What has the highest health? We'll play this and play this, I think. My shield for our uh, I suspect that one of them is a freezing trap, so I'm not gonna hit anything in. I'm not gonna make the same mistake of, uh, what do you call that? The uh, cube. Yeah, actually, if uh, two of the Devil's Sword eggs stuck around, this game would have been much easier. Oh, kill command. Okay, we lost. It's fine, it's fine. We're not playing a tier 1 deck unlike him, so <laughs> it's okay to lose. That's another thing about playing a fun deck, right? You don't, you don't feel so bad losing. All right. All right. So uh, that was egg lock, and uh, it's a fun deck. I mean, yeah. So if you guys want to try that deck out, maybe I'll put it in, uh, put the deck code inside the description or something. You can go check it out. Yeah. So as always, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next one. Take care. Goodbye.